Elizabeth Taylor Goldenblatt. That was the day Elizabeth Taylor moved in with Harry and Charlotte. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the best fuzzy boys and girls for living in a smaller apartment, even if they're not tiny themselves. No, 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 this is a chihuahua. This is my, this is my chihuahua. We, we love chihuahuas, don't we? Number 10, Shih Tzu. Gesundheit. These small, fluffy pups are Chinese royalty. They're named after the Mandarin word for lion thanks to their luxurious little manes. The Shih Tzu. The Shih Tzu. That's one you don't, uh, you don't play around with that name, do you? It doesn't come no. trippingly off the tongue. Shih Tzus are incredibly affectionate and can easily thrive in small places. They also love little kids and other furry friends. Originally bred to live inside Chinese palaces, Shih Tzus will settle into a cozy little apartment quite easily. They don't need a ton of exercise compared to larger breeds and can be satisfied running around a small home on a cold winter afternoon. That being said, it's worth training them when they're young. Shih Tzus are famously barky. Can you speak other languages? A little retriever, some Shih Tzu. My Chihuahua's a little rusty, though. Number 9. Bulldog. Bulldogs are small but mighty. They have the rippling muscles of large mastiffs packed into a compact frame. Those muscles come naturally, as they are actually lazy bones who love to lounge around the house. Yeah, oh, 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 easy, easy. He's a very vicious attack dog. Yeah, he's gonna lick me to death. They generally don't need much more exercise than some nice walkies. They prefer slightly colder weather, so perhaps don't consider a bulldog in a warm city like Miami without air conditioning. They are cuddle sponges who generally love nothing more than a nestle under a blanket. That being said, they are unfortunately known for various health problems, and it's illegal to breed them in Norway or Denmark. Number 8. French Bulldog French Bulldogs, or Frenchies, have surged in popularity in recent years. They're smaller than their English cousins and were originally bred by Parisians in the 1700s. What do Barney's dogs look like? Just beige. Kind of like pugs, but with big ears. Those are French Bulldogs. Frenchies are tiny little ninjas, able to sneak up on even the most attentive doggy parent. They are great apartment dogs who won't bother your neighbors with loud barks. That being said, their tiny little snub noses can lead to big snores coming from their little bodies. What a wonderful French Bulldog. My mother had one. They make great companions. Thanks to their small stature, daily walks are all the exercise these little ones need. Like their big cousins, Frenchies don't care for warm weather. Their issues regulating temperature have led to several airlines banning them from airplanes. Number 7. Havanese Don't mind if we do. It would be easy to confuse a Havanese dog with a small 10-pound throw rug, or a mob head. But we promise they are, in fact, doggies that are great for apartment living. They are perfect city dogs, totally at home amidst the excitement of human activity. Havanese are small little fluffs who need a solid training regimen and mental stimulation. They can adapt to almost any environment. After some vigorous exercise, a Havanese will be your little snuggle buddy. Havanese don't shed often, but be prepared to groom their luxurious locks every day. Number 6. Great Dane It may seem inexplicable that these lovable lummoxes can fit in small spaces. After all, these big old goofballs could take up an entire couch. On the higher end, Great Danes can be almost 3 feet tall and weigh near 200 pounds. How did you ever think of this? That's just the kind of guy I am. I'm a Great Dane. We sat at the foot of kings. They were originally bred to hunt large game like bears. But the Great Danes of today are gentle giants and famously lazy. They crave attention, and as long as they're well socialized, they are incredibly friendly. They do require exercise multiple times a day. Like many big breeds, they have hip issues, so make sure to feed them right and wait until they're at least two before taking them for a jog in the park. Number 5. Boston Terrier The Boston Terrier is a dapper fellow with a built-in tuxedo. Okay, what do you guys think? Beagle or Boston Terrier? Nicknamed the American Gentleman, the Boston Terrier is a perfect companion for a small home. They are little balls of energy with a little mischievous streak. Boston Terriers are big people pleasers that love an affectionate human. They can get a little sensitive to other dogs, so make sure that you socialize them early and often. 
A good dog park for these small boys and girls will be your best friend. Their exercise needs vary. Some need more playtime, while others can get by with a brisk walk or two a day. Just like us. Number 4. Pug Pugs were brought to Europe from China on the Silk Road hundreds of years ago. They were originally bred to be the personal pets of Chinese emperors. We sense a theme. They've kept their imperial vibes for half a millennium. <laughs> Today, these wrinkly little princes are potato-shaped love machines perfect for a tiny home with their humans. They live up to their shape and will love to laze about. You don't like it, you can kiss my furry little butt. That, combined with their penchant for vacuuming up food, makes pugs prone to chubbiness. Make sure to strictly regulate their diets. They also can shed like crazy depending on the time of year, so be prepared to clean up the fur. Heat and humidity are their enemy, so make sure to keep them cool and dry. Number 3. Greyhound Greyhounds are best known for their exploits on the racetrack. What's his name? Number 8. I, I mean, Santa's little helper. Despite their need for speed, greyhounds are excellent apartment dogs. As you'd suspect, they require lots and lots of exercise and playtime every day. Ideally, you have a wide open dog park where they can run full out. Bred as hunting dogs, they need slightly specialized training to keep them happy. That's a greyhound. Do you know what greyhounds do to rabbits? Well, I think he's a pretty safe bet. He's never met a rabbit like me. Once they work off the energy every day, they are docile little pals. They don't shed too much and can adapt to most environments. Be careful to check their ears for debris daily and to brush their teeth with doggy toothpaste. Number 2. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is your tiny little pal. They tend to max out at less than 20 pounds. Who is that? She's a present. Can we keep her? Anything that makes you smile like that, we'd be crazy not to. A short walk is all their little legs require to keep them going. After that, they are the quintessential king of lap dogs. A calf would be in absolute heaven spending a whole day on your lap while you stroke its silky fur with pats. They create a deep and abiding bond with their families and can be quite clingy. They love small apartments and will follow you wherever you go inside it. Calves are famously lazy and are easy to train. Well, she really loves you. Oh, who wouldn't love her? Look at that face. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Bichon Frise Bichons are incredibly popular dogs. Of course they are, as they are cute, cuddly, and relatively hypoallergenic. Hey, have a Bichon Frise! They have one of the most loving and adorable personalities of any dog. If your Bichon reaches 15 pounds, it's one of the biggest around. They are tiny, playful, and almost always happy. Bichons have a decent amount of energy for tiny cuties. But again, a good walk is all they need to be healthy and happy. Bichons train quite easily and love to make their humans happy. Your furniture won't be overly blanketed with fur. They have been known to live somewhat longer doggy lives, so be ready for years of love and snuggles. Ready to ponder the best dog breeds for smaller spaces? Leave a comment below and let's fetch some great suggestions together. I thought you said this guy was a professional. Oh, no, 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 he is a professional. He's just used to dealing with chihuahuas and poodles. It's the dog that's a <gasps> professional. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.